I am here to assure you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The enemies might come against you and your family in one way, but they will flee before you in seven ways. Do not be afraid of the plots of the evil ones, because all their plots will fall to the ground, no matter how they might strategize. Be rest assured that their plans will fail them. The Bible in Exodus 14, 14 says that God will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. The Lord with your cooperation is willing and ready to fight against all the wicked ones that are ganged up against you. We will be praying against the attacks of the evil ones this instant and I need your cooperation for these prayers to be effective. In the name of Jesus, I send confusion into the camp of the enemies of those that are listening to the sound of my voice. Those enemies that are guarded to attack you and your family, in the name of Jesus, I send confusion into their camps. By the fathers, in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the wicked ones that come against you in one way will flee before you in seven ways. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 that the Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They will come up against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways. I pray for you that the Lord will cause all the enemies that are guarded against you to be defeated right before your eyes in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Joshua 10, 19, that you should pursue and attack all your enemies from the rear, for the Lord has given them into your hands. I decree over you that you have received the strength to pursue, overtake and attack all your enemies because God has handed them into your hands. Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will contend with those that contend with you. He will take hold of a shield and buckler and stand up for your help and I hereby call on the help of the host of heaven to fight against all enemies that are guarded against you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is on your side. Therefore, you and your family are safe and secure from the attacks of the wicked ones right now in the name of Jesus. In Jeremiah 1 19, it says that the wicked ones will fight against you, but they will not overcome you. For God is with you to deliver you. I decree and declare that all the wicked ones that are attacking your family will not succeed because the Lord is with you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I pray for you that you and the members of your family will always be hidden in the strong tower of the Lord. And as you'd hide there, you are all safe from the attacks of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. Psalm 27 verse 3 says that even though a host encamps against you, you will not fear though war rise against you you will still be confident i decree that no matter how many they are that are guarded against you you will not be afraid because he that is for you is far greater than they that are against you the lord will strike all the wicked ones that are plotting against you with blindness in the name of jesus i pray for you that you and all members of your family will Will continually put on the whole armor of God and this will help you to be able to withstand the wiles of the enemies. The Lord would rise and scatter all the enemies that are gathered to attack your family in the name of Jesus. I release the wrath and judgment of God upon the wicked ones that are plotting your hurt in the name of Jesus. The Bible in Psalms 68 verse 21 says that God will surely shatter the heads of your enemies. I pray for you that the Lord will begin to shatter all the heads of your enemies round about you in Jesus name. The word of God also says in Psalm 143 verse 2 that God's love and kindness would cut off all your enemies and destroy those who afflict your soul. I declare
decree over you that the Lord will destroy all your enemies that have sworn not to eat or drink until they see your downfall in the name of Jesus. The Lord will help you and all members of your family to jump over the traps the enemies have set for you. You will not be afraid of the devices of the enemies in Jesus name. I pray for you that you would know the plans of the wicked ones that attack you and your family and that you receive the wisdom to thwart their plans in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the praise for answering all our prayers. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. When it comes to demonic prisons, you are exempted from them because you have been set free over 2,000 years ago. But the sad part is that you might still be in one prison or the other, either by the activities of the powers of darkness or by your own self. The victory that you have been given by Christ Jesus when he died and rose the third day needs to be enforced because the only language the kingdom of darkness understands is violence. Prison might come in disguise as curses, stagnation, poverty, embarrassment, lack, disgrace, and anything that is contrary to the will of God for you. The Word of God makes it clear to us that whatever is bound on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The power to make yourself free from every limitation the enemies have placed on you is in the power of your tongue. We will be making these powerful prayers together to seal the victory that was handed to you by Jesus over 2,000 years ago. Please join me. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I pull you out from every demonic prison. I hereby decree that you would not be limited by anything you are above limitations in the name of Jesus. Psalm 102 verse 20 says that the Lord would hear the groanings of the prisoner to set free those who were doomed to death. I pray for you that the Lord will hear your cry and he will set you free from destruction in the name of Jesus. The Bible in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says that the Lord would break yokes off your neck. I pray for you that all the yokes that are limiting your progress in life I remove off your shoulders in the name of Jesus. And in that name I'll pull you out of every pit the enemies have placed you in. The valley that you're in will become a mountain right now by the power in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the forces of darkness that are sent to you to put you in prison that will impede your speed in life in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 27 C says that the Lord will deliver you from those who enslaved you. In the name of Jesus I pray for you that the Lord will deliver you from the hands of your oppressors in the mighty name of Jesus. Nahum 1.13 says, So now I will break his yoke bar from upon you and I will tear off your shackles by the power in the name of Jesus. The yoke that is upon you is broken this instant and your shackles are turned off. You will no longer be a prisoner of the forces of the wicked ones and you will no longer be a lawful captive in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will break the rod of your oppressors in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I release the judgment and wrath of the Lord upon all the prison wardens of the wicked ones over your life in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that any force of darkness policing your life around is arrested by the angel of the Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you will sing a new song out of every piece and the enemies have kept you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I drown all your stubborn pursuers in the Red Sea, even now, in the name of Jesus. All limitations that you have placed upon yourself by the words of your mouth are nullified right now. The love of God will be the banner that will distinguish you from all other prisoners of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. 
whoever the son of man has set free is free indeed since you were set free over 2000 years ago by your confession i hereby make it effective your freedom and i decree that you have come out from all the evil prison that you have placed yourself in and the ones the wicked ones have kept you in in the name of Jesus i scatter all the wicked ones that have sworn not to eat or drink until they see you under their oppression i pray for you that there is freedom for you in your finances you would no longer work hard but have nothing to show for it the angel of the lord would fight against all the wicked ones that have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus i pull you out of every pit that you are in by by the ladder of the grace in the name of Jesus and in the name of Jesus i declare over your life that you will experience freedom even now in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus we bless your name lord for answering our prayers in the name of Jesus we have prayed amen do well to like share and subscribe to our channel god bless you richly one thing that has ravaged christendom today is the practice where christians harbor hatred bitterness and resentment towards their fellow brethren it is more like cancer that has eaten deep into the fabric of christianity and sometimes it spurns from the activities of demons that are behind spirits of bitterness and anger the bible specifically says that we should submit to god and resist the devil and he will flee from us the spirits of anger and bitterness cannot afflict us if we submit to God and also resist the devil. The word of God in Matthew 16:19 says that we have been given the keys of the kingdom to bind anything on earth and it will be bound in heaven and to lose anything on earth and it will be loosed in heaven. It is time we put the spirit of bitterness and anger to flight in your life. We have the authority in the name of Jesus to do that. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of anger and bitterness that is at work in your life. The Bible says in Ephesians 4:31, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, slander, and malice be put far away from you. I pray for you that you receive the grace to put away anger, bitterness, wrath, slander, and malice in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirits of anger and bitterness that is at work in your life even now in the name of Jesus. By the power in that name I bring your emotions to the obedience of Christ and I decree that your emotions are guided by the love of God. The Bible says that anger rests in the heart of a fool. I pray for you that you would not fall into the trap of the enemies to make you look like a fool after you might have gotten angry. I bind all the powers of the enemies that are pushing you to get angry and bitter at those people that will be of help to you in the name of Jesus. I pray that any form of bitterness that is in you that is hindering the blessings of God from getting to you be uprooted from the root in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 37 verse 8 says we should refrain from anger and forsake wrath. I therefore pray for you that the Lord will empower you to refrain from anger in your dealings with men in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 14:29 says whosoever is slow to anger is of great understanding, but he that is of hasty temper is not wise. I pray for you that the Lord would give you great understanding as you have decided not to be of hasty spirit. I pray for you that the Lord will remove the trace of strange ailment that is in you due to bitterness in your heart against someone. I bind the spirit of anger and bitterness that is at work in your life and lineage in the name of Jesus. 
I decree that the spirit of bitterness and anger would not make you make a rash decision that you will later regret in the name of Jesus. The Lord will shine his love and much more in your heart and it will expose all traces of anger and bitterness in your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the powers of darkness that have sown the seeds of anger, bitterness and resentment in your heart are arrested and sent into the bottomless pit in the name of Jesus. I release the zeal and the love of God to barricade your heart against anger and bitterness in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that the Lord will help you let go of all the offenses that you are still holding on to in the name of Jesus. By by the power in the name of Jesus, I send back all the arrows of bitterness and anger the devil and his cohorts have sent to you in the name of Jesus. I nullify all the agenda of the enemies to make you leave the will of God due to offenses in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 15 verse 1 says, A soft answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stares up anger i pray for you that no matter the level of provocation you will always have a soft answer to give to those that provoke you and you will not be caught in the pit of anger and bitterness in the name of jesus proverbs 22 24 says you should not become a friend to a man that is given to too much anger i pray the people that are controlled by the spirit of anger will not come close to you in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you God for prayers answered and glory to the name of the Lord in Jesus name we have prayed amen as believers we are not to be ignorant of the devices of the devil when the devil attacks you the spirit of the Lord in you will raise a standard against him you can always be sensitive to the devil's plot because you are led by the Holy Spirit. No divination against you can stand because you are a seed of Abraham. You are welcome to this channel. If today is the first time, I am adopting you into my prayer circle. And I will be praying for you and your family daily. All you have to do is to stay connected by hitting the subscribe button in red letter and hitting the notification bell so that YouTube reminds you when I drop any of the prayers God places in my heart for you. It has been clarified specifically in the Bible in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you you shall condemn. The ball now lies in your court to stand your God against the devices of the wicked ones. As I will be making these prayers and declarations over your life, receive them in faith as it is only by faith you will overcome the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the attacks of the evil ones are to you will be nullified. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the association of the wicked ones to cause your downfall will be scattered in the name of Jesus. And I decree over you that you will not be caught unaware by the enemy's attack. By the power in the blood, I decree that the blood of Jesus shields you from the wicked ones attacks. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you abide under the secret place of the highest and you hide under his mighty wings. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not be a tool of the enemies against your loved ones. I decree over you that the enemy's attacks against your finance will fall to the ground. I decree that the mark of Jesus is upon your forehead and he, this exempts you from the attacks of the devil and his cohorts. The word of God says in Luke 10, 19 that you have been given the authority to trample the on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I decree that you work in the authority that Jesus has given to you to trample upon all the powers of darkness.
In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never be a casualty of accidents and strange pandemic. The I plead the blood of Jesus over all of your possessions. I decree that you they will never be stolen by the enemies. The word of the Lord says in Ephesians 6:11 that you should put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I decree over you that you put on the whole armor of God and you are given the ability to stand against the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The word of God would always be your weapon of offense in the name of Jesus. You are shielded from the prying eyes of the powers of darkness by the power in the name of Jesus you are always victorious against all the enemies gathered around you in the name of Jesus I decree that the angel of the Lord would encamp around you and fight against all the wicked ones plotting your downfall by the power in the name of Jesus you are never confused as touching what to do when the evil ones rise against you i decree that the joy of the lord would always be your strength any time it looks like you are down by the reason of the anointing of the lord upon you i pray for you that the anointing in you will destroy all the yokes of the evil ones upon your shoulders in the name of jesus i decree that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you will fear no evil for god is with you I decree that the Lord would arise on your behalf and scatter all the enemies plotting your downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the hedge the Lord has built around you will never be taken down. I pray for you that you will not unconsciously reveal your next move to the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not fall into the traps of the enemies. I decree that the enemies will fall into the pit they have dug for you and all the members of your family. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The word of God said that when God turned the captivity of Zion around the inhabitants of the city were like them that dreamed. Then their mouths were filled with laughter. This season, God is set to turn your situation around for good. Captivity might come in various forms. Anything that is limiting or inhibiting the will of God for you is an agent of captivity. You have the ability to put an end to such things because the authority has been given to you to do that. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 21 verse 13 that God will put the garment of captivity off your shoulders. The Lord with your corporation will pull off all the garments of captivity that you are wearing. As we will be praying together, do well to believe you will get the answer to your prayers. And so let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the garment of captivity that is upon you that are under the sound of my voice are pulled off. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 30 verse 3 that the Lord would turn your captivity around and will have compassion in you. I pray for you that the Lord would turn all areas of your life that are in captivity around for good and he will show you compassion in the name of Jesus. You will sing songs of victory as you are loosed from the chains of captivity that are holding you down. The word of God says in Psalm 8 to 5 verse 1 that God has brought back the captivity of Jacob. Since Jacob is a seed of Abraham just like you, you are also a seed of Abraham. I therefore decree that the Lord will make you come out of the captivity in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. 
The Bible in Isaiah 42 verse 7 says that he has anointed you to open the blind eyes to bring out prisoners from dungeons and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will begin to deliver those that are in any form of bondage of captivity. As you are delivering them, you will not be a prey of demonic captivity in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord would free you from the prison that the enemy has placed you in. Jeremiah 38 says that God will break yokes from off your neck and tear off your bonds and strangers will no longer make you a slave. I therefore decree over your life that all yokes that are slowing you down are removed in the name of Jesus and the bonds on you fall off in the name of Jesus. You will also not be a slave to the wicked ones. I pray for you that the Lord would deliver you from the hands of those who enslaved you. The Bible in Isaiah 9 verse 4 says God will break the yoke of your body and the staff of your shoulders by the power in the name of Jesus. I begin to break all the yokes of burden on your shoulders in the name of Jesus. Job 12 18 says God loses the bonds of kings and binds their loins with a girdle since you are a royal priesthood. The Lord will lose your bonds in the name of Jesus. I send the angel of the Lord to fight against all the captives of your family in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be stagnated by any form of captivity in the name of Jesus. Psalm 146 verse 7 says, God says the prison is free. I therefore pray for your family and I decree that the Lord will set free any member of your family that has been held captive by demonic captors in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that those things you have lost due to captivity are restored to you in a hundredfold. I hereby pray that your captivity turns around for your lifting and progress in the name of Jesus. By reason of the blood of the new covenant that is at work in you, I decree over your life that the blood of Jesus will put an end to satanic captivity in your life and family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will begin to make a way for you even in a unsavory situations in the name of Jesus. There is progress for you in all areas of your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. No weapon formed against you shall prosper and no tongue that rises in judgment against you should be allowed to go scot-free without being condemned by you. The enemies are bent on ensuring that you fall into their traps. You must not allow this to happen because you have been given the authority to escape the traps of the wicked ones. Do not give room for the enemies to entrap you and keep you in their captivities. As we will be praying together, we'll be using the name of Jesus to fight against the devices of the wicked ones. The Word of God says in Philippians 2 verse 10 that we have been given a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of that name, every knee must bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the devices of the evil ones against your life are destroyed. By the power in the name of Jesus, I cover all the pits that the enemies have dug for you to fall into. The wicked ones will fall into their own traps. The Bible says in Proverbs 6 verse 2 that you have been ensnared by the words of your mouth. I pray for you that you would not set a trap for yourself by the words of your mouth in the name of Jesus. I pray that the traps that the enemies have set for you in times past that are coming back at you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
The Bible says in Psalm 141 verse 9 that the Lord will save you from the jaws of traps of the enemies that have set for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will deliver you from all the traps of the enemies that have been set for you in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 91 verse 3 that the Lord will deliver you from the snare of the flower and from the noisome pestilence. I pray for you that the Lord will protect you from all the snares of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus and no pestilence will come near your dwelling place in the name of Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 6 says that you will come to your senses and escape from the snare of the devil and you will no longer do the devil and his cohorts bidding in Jesus name. I pray for you that the Lord will pull you out of the net the enemies have secretly laid for you. The Bible says in Psalm 124 verse 7 that your soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. I decree that the snare is broken and you have escaped in the name of Jesus. You'll be sober and vigilant because your adversary, who is the devil, goes about like a roaring lion looking for who to devour. You will know fall ignorantly into the traps of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. You will submit to God. You will resist the devil and you will be able to escape all the traps of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. You are of God and have overcome the world because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are always more than a conqueror against all the devices of the enemies in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pull you out of every trap and prison the wicked ones have placed you in. You will not be ensnared into serving idols in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord would make members of your family that have been entrapped escape from those traps in the name of Jesus. I decree that every financial bait that enemies have placed for you will not prosper. You escape all the bait of the wicked ones because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I pray for you that the Lord would make you not fall into the traps of infidelity in your marriage in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the gatherings of the enemies that are gathered to set traps for you at strategic places in your life. And I remove all the traps the enemies have set for you which will delay your progress in life in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The Lord will fight for you against the evil ones and you will hold your peace in the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for answering all our prayers for it is in Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you. Amen.